guys and welcome back to my channel today. Today we're doing a look using the Karate Frost palette. I am so excited Karate sent me this palette for me to review for you guys. It is going to be my first review with them. I've heard so many amazing things about this palette. It is a full frost palette with 21 highly pigmented colors. Can you guys see this bad boy? She's gorgeous. And you have such a great color range on this one. So I'm really excited about this. It's got just about a little bit of every color for you guys. So if you are on the go, if you are working with a client, you've got tons of color options. And you know me, we love color. So we're going to dive in today. We're going to get super creative with this bad boy. And we're going to give you a... First impressions, 100% honest review on this bad boy on what we think. So if you want to know what I think on this palette, make sure you stay tuned to see first impressions, what I like, and see what we come up with. All right, so to make the process a little bit easier today, I've already gone, down, gone in and set down my base for you guys. I'm going to go in before I do any shadows, and I'm going to use NYX's Vivid Brights Cream um, eyeshadow and a pillow talk what it is is a, a cream shadow that you go in and put in you can blend out and then it sets by itself you can put a shadow on it if you want to or you don't have to but I love to use this as a base um, just to help to make all my shadows pop they blend everything over really well and it's really super duper easy to use I like to go in with a dense brush just to pack it in and then um, fluff it all out and blend it out on the edges and then I go in after and I pack on the shadow. slightly sticky as it's drying down and whatnot for us but nonetheless I don't know what this is <laughs> I don't know what's going on anyways I'm gonna try not to use my regular colors I'm always with the teals and purples and blues so what and we're gonna go ahead and do today is just so I can give you a gist of what we're gonna do I'm going to do Dorothy all over in the crease we're gonna deepen it right here with Dewdrop. And on the lid, I'm gonna go in right here with Sierra. And I'm gonna use Gold Digger, I think, right underneath, right here under my waterline, under my lash line right there. We're gonna pack them all in, blend them all out, and we're gonna see what this bad boy can do. Um, I didn't wanna do my regular colors. Um, these are some good fall-ish colors. I mean, they're fall colors. They're just not the regular reds and oranges that we usually go towards. But it's fall enough. We're going to bring you guys in close just so you can see more of what I've got going on here for you. But um, I'll probably do one eye and do the other one off camera just to save us some time so I don't have you guys here like all day. So anyways, let's, let's get working. Mm -hmm. Ooh, can you guys see that green? The pigment on these are on the green is insane. Absolutely insane. So I'm just going in with a fluffy brush just to get this green all over. So you can get good pigment on it. All shadows need a little packing, guys. Don't let that fool you. They all need a little packing. Oh my goodness. On top of this pillow talk, this color is gorgeous. Look at that. Blends like a dream. The pigment and shimmer on this. I feel like I'm in Wizard of Oz. Mm. 
Mm. Like, yes, girl. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna go with a little bit more dense and precise brush with, with Dewdrop just to deepen it a little bit. Dewdrop, come through. Oh my God, guys. Oh, I don't think I've ever like been this excited about a palette. Do you see this? Can y'all see this? Hmm. I just blend these a little bit. Desert bush. Should be all. Okay. And we'll fix this edge. I know it looks really harsh and super crazy right now, but. We'll fix her. Chief. These colors are real. Anyways, we're gonna go in with we're gonna go in gold digger. It's a little bit lighter than that Sierra, but gold digger reminds me of a a pretty penny. And that's how I'm feeling right now. We're just gonna go in and really flatten her in there with a good flat brush. We're really gonna pack her in there. Like pack, pack, pack. This is crazy. I'm gonna do the other eye quickly though.
that blurs up with some concealer. Now today we just did a real basic look with the shadows just to test them out and whatnot. We'll get extravagant for sure just to really test them out. But if they can do this and they can blend really well, we can do cut creases and all that fun stuff. You guys already know. We can get re really detailed and really fun with this stuff. you guys have not noticed that concealer I used to shape I also used to clean up these harsh lines if I need to if it's too harsh or it needs some blending or I need to like really bring these lines down this is when I use the concealer to do so as you see I'm just dabbing along the line not only does it bring it down a little bit because I feel like it's too far but it also helps blend a little bit and I can go in with a fluffy brush just to set it all with a with a neutral shade and why not, or I can just go in with some shimmer, like you do under, uh, or a highlight, like you would normally do right there under your brow bone, just to emphasize it. However you decide, and with the concealer, it'll really make it pop extra. Takes out a whole step for you, if it makes it easier. fluffy brush just to go over and help it blend a little bit. See how harsh it doesn't look now? So much better. I'm just loving these shades though. These were green. It looks almost turquoise because I put that concealer on it. That's okay though. We're gonna go right under though because I want to do say we want it. The Sierra. Sierra, Sierra. I have stuff in my eyeballs. That was creepy. Alright guys, so here's the finished look from the Carate Frosty Palette. I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. I have to say, two thumbs up for Carate. I am in so much love with this palette. It's amazing. It blends well. The pigment is there. The shimmer is amazing. There's no funky smells with it or anything like that. I don't know if I told you guys. I smell everything. Do you guys smell it? No funky smells with it. The palette is huge. Do you see this? It's like the height of my head. It's huge. It's good. Yeah, great color range. Super blendable. Super amazing. Works great with other other products and everything like that so i definitely recommend it for all of you guys i hope you guys love it as much as i did um i hope this video is helpful for you guys in making a decision if you want to try the brand out because i know they are fairly new from what i've seen um i've heard they've been around but they're starting to make a big boom in the area for uh, the makeup world because the makeup world is growing so, so much and so facetly. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much for being part of the Split Fam and everything. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you smash the button so you can keep up with me and all the products we're using, testing out, getting to know and all that stuff. Um, thank you for being a part of this. Uh, and yeah. Oh. 
And yeah, thank, so again, thank you so much. I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.